So let me open the Pandora box for you, my dear apes. The overall market is deep in red. All the short squeeze plays are ripping like crazy. Tomorrow the case might be completely different. The overall market will be in deeper sell-offs contributed from the CPI data today, 7.5%, meaning that the inflation just knocked on Jerome's power door, telling him that he has to act fast, faster than any other plan that he was planning to act earlier. Seven point five percent inflation in the first month of 2022 means that one rate hike looks like a two rate hikes in March. So tomorrow the whole market, in my opinion, not a financial advice, will be deep in red. This might actually drag some of the short squeeze plays in red as well. Why? On top of that, that is just Friday and a lot of options will be expiring, especially for AMC. A lot of institutional investors, I posted video on the second channel, are currently taking a lot of profits, especially tech, especially their long positions. These huge dumps on the market will actually accelerate the general sell-off, the general fear of the inflation and how the Fed actually will react. So definitely much greater sell-offs. I believe this is kind of the beginning of the, of the, of the fall of the general market, which is not necessarily bad for the short squeeze place. Most of them have 100% utilization no shares available for borrowing or lending. It's about AMC, second day in a row, 100% utilization. Most of the short squeeze plays have uh, above the average short interest. In the case with AMC, it remains at the levels close to 22%. On top of that, Russell 2000 short interest remain at the levels around 50%, which number one holding in with its AMC entertainment. Also something that is not as usual on the market. Crypto market it's very very stable. Seems like all the hedges are not dumping any cryptocurrency. They're just dumping stocks because seems like the the crypto market doesn't fear as much. And obviously there is no direct correlation between uh, Fed hikes and cryptocurrency market. Not to mention Wednesday I said that most likely we will see Friday uh, the stock closing under this most desirable strike price of the options. As of now. 54,000 contracts with the strike price of $19. Uh, we were at 18 bucks. The contracts for 18 bucks were around 30,000 yesterday. This means that, in my opinion, hedges scaled up. This means that they will collect not only the premiums if they're able to close the stock under 18 bucks. Not just premiums for the 18 bucks was the original expectations, but if they're able to push it, they will also collect all the premiums that will remain out of the money for $19, 20 bucks. Also, I want to point you out for the following week option expiring on February 18th, we have over 200,000 contracts expiring out of the money as of today. But who knows, these 200 contracts might expire in the money if we have some another crazy run up, something that we saw during the last three days. So what is the recap? This week and next week, we're expecting more updates from the ACC. We all know each and every proposal should be voted, uh, then should be waited 30 days for uh, public opinions and votes, and then should be enforced. On top of that, general market most likely will fall. Uh, we, we have to see what Jerome Powell is thinking about the recent uh, CPI data. Remember, oh my gosh, Janet Yellen said, we believe that inflation by the end of 2022 will be around 2-3%. Uh, uh, this would be an amazing magic trick. I would like to see how this will actually happen. 7.5%. And guys, we're not in the shopping season. Just think about in January, people don't have so much disposable income after they spent tons of money in December. So if the inflation for January non-shopping month is 7.5%, uh, I don't know what we should expect for February. Anyway, price action doesn't mean anything for AMC stock at this point. Even if tomorrow all the option traders lose and, and hedges were able to push the stock price down, it's okay. As long as uh, the utilization remains at 100%, as long as we're seeing at least the same or higher short interest. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and come back for more.